Hey guys, what's up? G4TV is cool here, and here I have a deck profile for <laughs> Dimensional Robos. It's an updated deck, which has the whole... It's a cross ride of Great Dyke Kaiser and Ultimate Dyke Kaiser, so I hope you guys enjoy. I may do a, another deck update with another Dimensional Robo, or Dimensional Robo uh, Ultimate Dayusha with another card, actually, that's pretty good. So, yeah. Anyway, let's do a deck profile. First off, the starter is Goyusha. I don't really see a point in running Dimagnum, actually. For this type of deck, you need to run Goyusha because being grade lock sucks. So it's best to run that so that way you can easily search out for grade 3. I don't run the Counterblast 1, look up top 5, search for grade 3, add it to hand because this deck eats up way too much Counterblast as it is. So yeah. Anyway, next top 4 is the Great Dykeiser. This guy is very, or Super Dimensional Robo Kaiser, The Break Ride. This guy is pretty cool, actually. What he does is Limit Break 4, Counter Blast 1. When a Dimensional Police rides on top of it, you may pay the cost. If you do, you gain 10k in a crit and the ability of smashing perfect cards, or just shields in general. And that is a great combo with this guy. <laughs> Ultimate Dimensional Robo Great Kaiser. His ability is... Limit Break 4, Counter Blast 2. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, triple Drive Check. You can make Drive Check again. So yeah. But you cannot activate his ability for the rest of the battle. So you basically can't Commander Laurel and do it again. You can't Commander Laurel and have say, Oh, he gets his ability. No, he doesn't. His ability vanishes. But it's still really good because if you have Commander Laurel on your field, you get like 5 Drive Checks in one turn. So yeah. And next I run two Shadow Kaiza. Because why? I'm not running Dayusha in this deck. Dayusha to me, it contains a 2k and a not a pointless crit. It's just more likely or not they're going to overguard the Dayusha. So I run Shadow Kaiser just because, for one, his LB is not that bad. It gains 5k, but it helps search out the deck for a great Dai Kaiser. So yeah, that's why I run him. Next I run four Die Dragons because 12k attackers are so sexy. They're still a thing. Next, I run four of the Kaisers. Even though, granted, after I after I stop, after I get to grade three, he's pretty much pointless. So only a 5k shield, but he's still pretty good. You know, running four, the odds of you starting him off with a grade two is very good. Next, I run three copies of Die Fighter because Die Fighter, 10k Manila, and I don't not, I'm trying not to run things that require counter blasts. I'm trying to just to... Uh, Keep the counter blast cost low for this deck and just play to its strengths to where the vanguard has the counter blast, not the rear guards. Next, I run four copies of die shields because perfect guards are still good. Next is three copies of die tiger because die tiger is still good. 10k attackers are indeed good, they're still a thing. <laughs> Next, three copies of Die Mariner because have, having him as a starter is pretty good. Starting grade one, Soul Blast him. Basically, you can hit for 31k if you have a booster. And I have run, I run three Commander Laurels because five drive checks in this deck is incredibly satisfying. <laughs> Especially if you have triggers, triggers applied to the Vanguard to where, bam, I can hit you harder. Yes, it does work. The problem with this deck is like I. <laughs> Like I said, eats up counter blast and also I tend to deck out. I tend to think I want to kill my opponent fast. Afterwards, for triggers, I run four heals, eight draws, and I don't run the other draw, the other crit trigger. I run Justice Cobalt because why not? The knee of justice, Captain Falcon, for the win. And I run four draws. Anyway, that's my deck profile. This deck, overall, it's pretty good. I think it's probably one of the better Dimensional Police decks out there until we get possibly Metal Borgs and the Ultimate Die Kaiser or True Ultimate Die Kaiser with Dayusha or Great Dayusha as the Legion Mate, which honestly I don't know if I wanna run it. It's not too bad, but I don't know. I'm still iffy on that. But it's still really a fun a fun deck actually. This is pretty much one of my favorite decks and I'm glad they finally released it. I just wish they released it like maybe two or three months after the trial deck came out. So that way it makes this trial deck relevant because not many people actually, I don't think many people bought this trial deck because I was hyped up about this deck. Like, yes, 
Yes, yeah, a better, a great brake ride. The only brake ride that does this ability. That's awesome. But yeah, overall, this is a really fun deck. It's very easy to build. I don't think, I think the only reason why many people buy the Fighters Collection is because they get SPs and Great Die Kaiser and Trade Bait. Because there's a lot of good stuff in that set. But anyway, that's it for my deck profile. Obviously, it's pretty quick, five minutes. But here, let me show you some plays, actually, that the reason why I like this deck. Like, let's say I have that there, that there, and that there, that there, that there. There, and there. All right, now, for example, I ride... Hold on, let me have one more damage. There we go. For example, I ride this. I activate his... The break ride ability. Counterblast 1, 10k crit. And then... I just decide, okay, I'm just going to attack. LB, triple drive check. Let's say I get three cards, and one of them is a grade 3. Smashes a perfect guard. And then I gain 10k crit. And then skill. Rest all units. Restand him. Damn, 28 plus a crit, plus three crits. So basically, it's a two, one two punch, actually. And this is actually one of my favorite one two punches. The only problem this deck goes up against is probably Link Joker, actually. Because you need to have a full field to take advantage of Commander Laurel's ability. So, what I tend to do is just go Vanguard and Vanguard and just dwindle his resources down. Hopefully, he doesn't have anything special. But yeah, that's one of the deck strategies I tend to do. Otherwise,. Against most other decks, I tend to be, I tend to try to be as conservative as po possible until I know I can finish them off in one, in one move. Other than that, I can't really do much with this. I can do a lot with this deck, actually. It's very flexible. It does take a little bit of time to build up the whole field. It's not like Kagero's, we get the field in like three turns. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, that's my deck profile of Dimensional Robo, Dykeiser, and great that kaiser i hope you guys i thank you guys for watching and yeah that's about it peace